Hey, did you know that you can be poisoned slowly? Eventually, if you are given a little bit of arsenic or some type of poison every day, your vital organs will be affected and eventually it could lead to, to, to death. And uh, this is a little bit frightening when you think about it, but when I look at the poison that is in the stew or in the uh, melting pot here in the United States, I can also see where we have slowly been poisoned and it is now becoming more and more obvious in our children, in our young people, and all the different rebellion that we see going on in our cities and the violence. So uh, from 2 Kings chapter 4, when we see Elijah do the act of faith with the poisonous pot of stew, they uh, complained. Hey, Elijah, there is death in this stew. And they were prophetic men. They recognized what was going on immediately. And fortunately, because of Elijah's faith in the Lord, he threw meal in the pot and it was healed. And you know, that act of faith caused no harm to the prophets that ate the stew during a time of famine, by the way. And I'm reminded that God showed me that the way for healing of our nation with all the different poisons that have been released in every major mountain of influence in our culture, which is a culture of death, which is very sad to me. We want a culture of life here in our nation. It's the meal that heals. It's Jesus. The Lord's Supper, having communion daily with Him. And so while we're in the dire straits, and as we uh, go towards the Jewish New Year of September the 18th, on into Yom Kippur, and to the return with Jonathan Kahn, which will be National Day of Repentance on September the 26th, I've challenged everyone to take daily communion. So I'd like for you to join me now on this Shabbat. Lord Jesus, we thank you that on the night you were betrayed, you took bread and you broke it. The unleavened bread, which is a symbol that there was no sin, and you were, Jesus, the sinless Lamb of God, who is the only one that could become our substitute for our sin. So, Lord Jesus, we take this bread and we thank you for your life. And we thank you that you took the poison of rebellion, of witchcraft, of sin, of all destruction, and of evil plots, of evil. You took it in your body. You became that poison for us. So we receive the meal that heals today. And we receive it on behalf of our nation and our cities. Portland, Chicago, Lord, Seattle, New York City. Lord, we, we send the word of healing over these sunshine states that are dealing with the coronavirus. We send the word of healing to anyone dealing with that virus, Lord, in their bodies. We believe for you, Lord Jesus, you took that coronavirus. You took the poison of it. And so we thank you that you took the sting of death and we receive life today for our friends, our neighbors, and all those in America, Lord, that have been suffering from any of these things that have poisoned our nation. That same night he took the cup and he said, this is the cup of my new covenant of my blood that is shed for you. Jesus' blood is all-powerful, has all authority. And when it was shed on that cross 2,000 years ago, it has never lost its power. It is just as powerful then as it is now. Now, 
it is the same power just one drop makes all the difference so we apply the blood of Jesus right now over this coronavirus over the rebellion in our nation over this false deceptive uh, things going on that are in our cities the rebellion that's going on the violence that is trying to take over and say it's protesting but we know it's not it's it's something beyond that and we know the agenda is not good for America so Lord we plead the blood of Jesus tonight on this Shabbat and we declare your peace Jesus you are our Shalom you are Jehovah Shalom you are the SARS the Prince of Peace the SAR Shalom the Prince of Peace and we declare your peace over our lives tonight over the lives of our family and over the lives Lord over our neighborhood our community our city our state and our nation in Yeshua's name thank you Jesus I pray that you have a wonderful weekend and if you will continue to take daily communion I know we're going to be prepared when we get up to that point of September the 26th we're going to get to the point for that National Day of Repentance that our heart will be totally ready our entire being will be healed will be ready to be the warriors that the Lord has called us to be in this hour to be the harvesters to be all the women and the men of God to rise up and to take a stand for righteousness and justice and we're going to see that his kingdom is coming his will is going to be done our nation will be saved believe that with me thank you God bless you and Shabbat Shalom.